Alright, so last time we learned about um, key events. And this time we're actually going to learn something um, about updating. So, here's something important to know. Here's your main loop right now. As you can see, there's an update player and then there's draw. Every game has like two parts of the loop. It updates everything and then it draws everything. And we're going to learn a bit more about this loop in this tutorial. So we're going to make a new class and we're going to do a class called update all. This is actually going to feed off of our previous tutorial too, just trust me. Public static void update player. Oh, um something we should probably do instead is um public static void update. So, you know, just one universal method that will update everything. Update player. And then, um, board. You can do, so every time it, the time it rings or something. Update all. All dot update. For the draw method. Basically, you don't need this because, um, you know what, actually, no, no, never mind. I'm going to make a new class, too. New class draw all. Um, public static void draw, um, bk. Public static void draw player. Something else we're going to need. We're going to need to extend something. Extends board. And the reason we're extending a board is because we're going to need to use this draw thing. Right? Right. Just pretend you know what I'm talking about. So we're going to cut that per in draw player. Um or board we're going to do the same thing and the reason we're doing this is this is much more um, object oriented so we have that public static void draw all or draw draw bk draw player Basically, I didn't do anything, um, you know. And we can do draw all dot draw. Something we should probably do real fast. Um, we're going to make these private. There we go. Um, or as a press warnings. Um, hold on, let me. Yeah, I need to cancel that. There. Um, update all. So we have that. Um, go ahead and put another method in here. Public static void update. Oops. Private static void update x. And one more thing. Private static and change x. Um, or x displacement. Alright. Um, be sure to spell that right. Update x. We're going to have an update y too, but we're going to do that when we're messing around with jumping. Okay, so you can do, um, remember this method? Yeah, we're going to get rid of that. In fact, we're actually going to do public static avoid set x displacement. Int i, and then x displacement equals i. 
simple enough. Update x, x plus equals displacement. And there you go. Um, x displacement. You can also do change x. I don't know. I probably should have done that. In fact, yeah, hold on. Uh, now nah, ignore it. Don't need that. Oh, cancel. Update all. Um, player dot update. There we go. So it updates a player in that loop. Um, board input key events. Yeah, we have an error that's on purpose. This is where we're going to need this. Player dot um set. Hold on. Dot set x displacement. We we'll make that two. Um, so sorry if I'm confusing you guys. Um, negative two, and there, we're done. Right, everything should work. Oh, pretend you didn't see that. Let's let's figure out what we did wrong. Draw all. Um. Okay. Uh, board. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's why need to have repaint before it, you know that I mean you gotta repaint oh no okay you still wanna have an error um let's just take a look what I did in mine cause um my other one cause it should be the same um okay it's right here Repaint. Um. Oh, oh. Okay. That's why. Per draw all in your paint method instead of your update method. Think of action performed as your update method. Hold on. Update method. And this is going to be your draw method. All right. Um. And we're perfect. Ah, but look, I'm not even holding down the key anymore, and we're still going. I mean, what's up with that? Ooh, I, you know, I'm, I'm not even holding down the key right now. That's what the key released is for. And what that does is, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. When your key is released, do what? So we're going to set player dot set x displacement zero. And let's just see what happens. Oh, see, now he moves. Now he moves more fluently. Um, yeah, basically, I can stop and blah blah blah. Let me explain what happened because I kind of went really fast. We learned about um, how games have update methods and draw methods and all loop. That's what they do. Every time the timer counts, updates, draws. We're going to think object oriented. So we've created a class called update all. We have the, all of the update methods. Instead of in the board, because it'd be really hard to read, you know, after a while. Draw all, same thing. A, me a class just for drawing. Extends board, because we want that drawer object right there. Player. Every time that the player updates, it pluses the x displacement, which is which direction, you know, the speed in which he's going. Set x displacement is i. And you set that through here. So I hope that basically made sense. If not, then just read it over a couple times. It's not that hard. And I will see you later.